now we have the January 2018 paper 1 over here the first question what percentage of 40 is 8 you know this is pretty easy so the same as asking express 8 as a percentage of 40 which is 8 over 40 times 100 and that will give you 1 out of 5 times 100 which is equal to 20 percent so let's move on to the next question the exact value of 6 divided by 0 0.0003 is so we just simplify this we have this 6 divided by 0 0.0003 so let's change this to a fraction 3 over we have 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 zeros so 3 over 1000 now let's change this to multiplication and reciprocate to get something like this so we can now simplify now this will go here 2 times so multiply 2 by 10,000 to get 20,000 so this is the correct answer now let us check for the next one if 6 times 10 is plus negative n is equal to 0 0.06 where n is greater than 0 then n is so we have this our problem lies here so we just rewrite this to look like this that is write it in standard form we have to move the decimal points forward twice and forward movement is negative so when we compare we can cancel out this they are left with this so comparing the exponent this exponent must be equal to this exponent so this and this must be equal since the bases are also equal so that will give us n equal to uh, question we have this question Paula bought one whole number seven over eight meters of fabric to make a shirt while Rita bought one whole number three over four meters to make her shirt how much more fabric did Paula buy than Rita so it's just a matter of subtracting this from this so let's go we need to convert to improper fraction 1 times 8 is 8 plus 7 which is 15 over 8 1 times 7, 4 is 4 plus 3 which is 7 out of 4 now let's make let's create equivalent fractions multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 to get this 7 times 2 is 14 4 times 2 is 8 now uh, they are the same so we can write one base and subtract the exponent and subtract the numerators so 50 minus 14 will be equal to 1 out of 8 meters then we have the fifth one the value of 29.94 times 0 0.5 is approximately equal to what so we know this is the equation given to us and we can easily do this you know this 0 0.5 is the same as half and we can approximate this by rounding to the nearest whole number 29 is almost equal to 30 so half of 30 that will be 15 so the correct answer is C now let's look at option question 6 there are 60 students in a class girls make up 60% of their class 25% of the girls wear glasses how many girls in the class wear glasses so we know that number of students are 40 then we have number of girls to be 60% 60 over 100 so this will get rid of this then this also get rid of this. We are left with 4. So 6 times 4 
will give us 24 now out of these 24 who are girls we have 25 percent of the girls wearing glasses so number of girls that are wearing glasses is 25 out of 100 times 24 and 25 out of 100 is the same as 104 before we go here six times and that will be equal to six so six girls wearing glasses question seven we have this 3 times 7 plus 3 times 5 is the same as so we use the distributive property we have a times b plus a times c is equal to a outside and b plus c so let's go we have 3 which is standing for a b and c so we have 3 outside 7 plus 5 so the correct answer will be this now let's go on to question what is the highest common factor of the set of numbers 30, 45, and 90? So if we list the factors of 30, it will be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. The factors of 45 are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, 45. The factors of 90 are this. Now, the common factors are 1, 3, 5, 15. So the highest of these common factors is 15. Another way to do it is to use the prime factorization. We know that 30 is the same as 30 is the same as 2 times 3 times 5. 2 by 3 by 5. Then 45 is the same as 3 by 3 by 5 then we know that 90 90 is the same as 3 by 3 by 2 by 5 so to find the LCM to find the highest common factor we look for the list of the powers so the list of 3 are we have this we have this then we have this we don't have to run it through of them there are 5 the list is 5 then 5 then 5 so we even though we are dealing with highest common factor we take the least powers and multiply them so 3 exponent 1 that is the least for the 3 then 5 exponent 1 is the least for the 5 for the 2 we don't have anything running through of them so we don't pick it now the correct choice 3 by 5 which is equal to 15 that will be the correct answer you can go by this method or this then let's go on to the next question what is the least common multiple what is the least number of plums that can be shared equally among either 6, 9 or 12 children so that is equal to find the least common multiple of 6, 9 and 12 and we know the multiples of 6, we know the multiples of 9, 2 to be this, the multiples of 12 to be this. Now the list of the multiples is 36. Therefore, the correct answer is 36. Another way to do it is to find the prime factorization. We know 6 is the same as 2 times 3. Then multiples of a 9 will be the same as 3 by 3 9 the same as 3 by 3 then 12 is the same as 4 by 3 so 12 is the same as 2 squared or 2 by 2 by 3 so in this case we take the highest powers 
take the common factor with the highest powers so we pick so for the tools we pick the highest which is this 2 by 2 then for the 3 the highest is this is 3 by 3 so by 3 by 3 I will give you 4 times 9 which is equal to 36 so you can use this approach or this then let's look at question 10 for this if 3n is an odd number which of the following is an even number so let's pick n to be 3 then 3n minus 1 will be 3 times 3 minus 1 which is 8 so we are picking n to be 3 now 3n plus 2 will be equal to 3 times 3 plus 2. That will give us 11. And 3n minus 2 will be 3 times 3 minus 2, which will be equal to 7. Then 3n plus 2n will be 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 2 times 3, which is 6, and to give you 50. So the only one which is even is first one. So the correct choice is this. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to my second channel. All the best. Now if you can still see this red in here, it means you have not yet subscribed. So you just have to click it so that the next upload, you see it is still red. You have to click it so that if I upload the next video, you'll be informed. Click the bell icon too, so that you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.